So we're in the middle of central Hong Kong. This is the front line where most of the more radical protesters have already arrived. This entire protest is completely illegal. On Friday, the police in Hong Kong arrested many of the people they identify as leaders of the youth movement, of the protest movement here. Unfortunately for them, it hasn't made any difference. Even I've been jailed for three times, but we still keep on our fight. We shall not surrender. They, of course, they are a political icon, but their arrest doesn't stop us from doing what we want. Now, the point that the authorities don't seem to believe or to comprehend is that this really does appear to be a leaderless movement. You took their phones from our fishing village for what is happening in Hong Kong and what we're seeing right now. This is a government that has been besieged by its own people. Because um, the government hasn't been responding to us. The police are firing tear gas, and the water cannons of police have been deployed. The protesters have Molotov cocktails that they're preparing to throw on police. But you can also see that people here are not in any way deterred. And that as soon as the police stop firing, they come right back. When those police is shooting their tear gas, it sounds like priceless, but all the cost is coming to the protester. They say you've got to be stung like ice, you've got to be fluid like water, you've got to gather like dew and scatter like mist. That's the, these are the ideas, the philosophy behind this revolution that people are starting to call the water revolution. The protests here in Hong Kong have completely spiraled out of control. We're in the middle of one of the main shopping districts, Wan Chai, and the protesters have built a barricade and set it on fire. It's now blazing out of control and the fire department is trying to get to it but they're being blocked by some of the crowd. With scenes like this, it's almost unthinkable that Beijing won't want to intervene at some point.